Kansas Wildlife and Parks has gone high-tech when it comes to keeping hatchery ponds free of unwanted vegetation. Grass carp stocked at high rates eat filamentous algae in the management ponds, leaving nutrients for zooplankton that help hatchery game fish grow faster. But these aren't the old grass carp that were once used. Instead, they are genetically engineered fish known as triploid grass carp. Triploids, produced by applying high pressure to fertilize grass carp eggs at just the right time, have three sets of chromosomes instead of the normal two sets found in nature, and that makes these fish unable to reproduce. Kansas gets the special fry from an Arkansas production center, but to make sure that only triploids are used in Kansas management, the fish must be individually sampled when they are large enough. This project, completed at the Mead State Fish Hatchery each year, involves some futuristic testing. Then, the Kansas Fish Hatchery system benefits without the chance for unwanted natural grass carp reproduction. Four-inch grass carp are anesthetized and each is stuck under the chin to obtain a small amount of blood. The sample is placed in a numbered cup corresponding with the same numbered net partition. The blood sample is run through a precision particle analyzer which measures the size of the cell nucleus. Triploid nuclei are larger and the machine provides an instant readout of the sample status. All triploid grass carp are then kept and distributed among KDWP's fish hatcheries for vegetation control. The fish are generally used in hatcheries for two years and then stocked into state ponds and impoundments when needed. Just two weeks after I filmed this sampling at Mead, I saw some of the grass carp again as they arrived at Farlington Fish Hatchery in southeastern Kansas, ready to go to work there. It's all part of a year's work, and it's another way that fisheries managers produce great fishing in Kansas waters. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.